if we go back up here, all that's left to do is print. So we are going to finish this off by filling in our traverse and our descending, um, ascending and descending traverse methods. So we'll go back down here. We're going to go into traverse ascending first. We're dealing with this one first, so we're going to write inside of here. Now, to traverse the ascending, if we're traversing something, anything, all we're going to do is use a loop. That way we can go through it. So we will have four. We are going to use a temporary node. So we'll do node temp is equal to head, so we get the head. And now we're going to go through the entire thing. So temp does not equal null because head is storing our values. We are going to do temp dot get next and this will iterate us through here and while we're in here we're just going to do system dot out dot print line temp dot get data and this will print out our entire list now remember that the print line here isn't going to print to the console it's going to print to our file because it's sandwiched in between these two dot set outs so going back down here the traverse ascending is done and now we're going to traverse descending. We're going to copy this for loop because it's incredibly similar. Now we're going to set temp instead of equal to head to tail. And instead of get next, we're going to do get prev. And we know that once we hit the head, the head has a null pointer to the previous. So let's say that this was our head, for example. If this was our head, it would. we know that in a linked list we have pointers this way, pointers this way. Well, we wouldn't have a pointer this way, and we would be pointing to a null. So it's okay if we run this as long as temp does not equal null. Same thing, and we're just going to print this out in reverse order. And so this is our entire doubly class. We've traversed ascending, traversed ascending, we've inserted, we have deleted, and we have these private values. Now, in our node class for the doubly linked list, we have all of our getters and setters as well as this constructor at the beginning to pass in data. And now we are back at our public class main. Just to make it java.compatible, you want to make sure that you have your author. You also want to make sure you have the version. And that is typically the due date of the assignment or the date last worked on of the code. So this all looks good. And now um, we can print it out. Just for good practice though, should make sure to eventually close this scanner and close the print string so we don't have any resource linkage. So to close our scanner and to close our print stream, since we've made these, we are going to go below our statement um, right after our while loop. We'll do file.close and you can see that this is void and it is going to close our scanner. If the scanner has not yet been closed, then it will make sure that it closes. So we can double click that to close it and then we're going to do output dot and for output I guess we have to be in here because we've only declared it in here so we'll do output dot we can type in close and we can see that this closes the stream and that way we will stop writing to this file so with those done our method looks done our code looks done with everything in total these are all of our imports We can scroll down and it's almost 200 lines of code so what I'm going to do is bring up the file location. In my Eclipse workspace, I'm going to go inside of here. We can see we don't yet have an output file, but I'm going to run this. And we can see that an output file has been created. Unfortunately though, it prints out Jim a lot. And that, if we look at the Word doc, is not what we want. So we are going to have to go back in here and troubleshoot. Might be something wrong with the deletion. One error, um, not error, but misspelling I notice is that there's a traver. This should be traverse for both of these, and meaning I spelled this wrong here. I don't think that will fix the error. I'll run it again, and we can open the output file. And opening that, we can still see that we have an infinite loop. So that means it's probably something wrong with the looping in one of our methods or classes. So I'm going to go in and test all of the loops. Going through the doubly class, I've noticed that in our traverse and um, ascending and descending, both of them have an error. And that error is this incrementing part. It does not increment. 
I've set it to temp.get next, so it'll get the next, but it won't set the temp equal to that. So to fix this, what we're going to do is do temp is equal to temp.get next and temp is equal to temp.get prev. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to run it again. Running this again, we can see the output file has updated and we print out Bob, Jack, and John. If we open up the assignment, we can see that is exactly what we wanted to print out. So this is the Eclipse workspace with all of our things in here. Uh, if I open up the file, it is this right here. We won't be able to see the output. Um, for some reason, it's not linked right now, but we can see that it is inside of this folder and we are able to access it. That was the old file, but if we um, open this new one, the one that doesn't have a broken loop inside of it or two broken loops inside of it, we can see that we get Bob, Jack, and John. If I were to delete this, I don't think I can with Eclipse open. So I'm going to close Eclipse. I'm going to click save. It has now been closed. I will delete the output. I will then reopen Eclipse so that we can see that it creates this output file even if there is not one. So come in here, I'm going to click run and it should give us an output file which it just created. If we open it, we can see that that is our output. So that is our code. Um, this is the input just for reference. So these are side by side. We've completely written this program. It looks good. It checks out and we have our main method, our node, and our doubly. We have troubleshooted the error, which was down here. And it took a while to program this because of the just theory behind it. But thank goodness we had that sweet one note to help us out. And yeah, that is the program completely finished. This is our node class, coded out and completely with all the getter and setter. Ooh, nope. Since the tan.